Hello, welcome to the channel. We are starting another video. Today, we are going to address the controversies that are taking place in Florida. As of the 1st of July, an anti-immigration law came into effect, along with 200 other laws covering various subjects, such as welfare, education, technology, transportation and the economy. All these laws were passed by the Florida Senate and House, and the governor signed them, making them effective from that date. One of the laws that has drawn a lot of attention, is the one that allows concealed carrying of weapons in Florida, without the need for, a license or similar requirements. This law is considered more controversial than, the changes in immigration rules brought about by Law 17.18, which has already been in effect since the first day of July. Officially, circumstances remain unchanged in Florida. However, it is important to reflect on what this means for those who have regularized documentation. Personally, I support those who are awaiting some resolution, as long as they have a sound track record, and are good-natured people. These people must never be persecuted. Recently, the Supreme Court confirmed that the government will not arrest people, without a criminal record. However, we are still unclear about how Florida will handle this issue. Many have commented that several condominiums inhabited by Brazilians in Orlando, Miami, Jacksonville, and Tampa, in South Florida, have seen a movement of people moving to other states that are more welcoming to immigrants. The only impact Florida may face right now is on the economy, as immigrants contribute to economic growth. Therefore, if you are interested in studying and feeling good in an environment that corresponds to what you seek, continue with your plans to be in Florida. It is important to remember that we should not generalize. The educational and higher education institutions are still there, welcoming students from all over the world. If you have a tourist visa and plan to visit Florida, including Disney and Orlando, you must come. We cannot allow the actions of a flamboyant governor, who craves the presidency and whose policies could span the entire country, to influence our perspective on the state. If you have all your documents in order and want to invest in Florida, know that there are some opportunities, such as the reduction in rental prices due to the departure of people, and the availability of real estate. On the other hand, the economic issue may lead to a slight increase in the price of some products. We must remember that many people come to the United States, in search of opportunities to fulfill their dreams. Many have left their home countries because of the economy or the limitations they face there, and have managed to build a better life here. Maintaining our legal status in the country is critical, for those of us who reside in the United States and want to take advantage of the opportunities this blessed land offers. Therefore, I invite you to reflect on your own goals and aspirations. If you have a plan in place, stay on that path and move towards your goals. Florida might just be the place for you. In this sense, it is crucial that we defend the rights and well-being of immigrants, and that we fight for fairer and more inclusive policies. Together, we can build a better future where everyone has the opportunity to live, work and raise their families in the United States. Thank you for watching another video on our channel. Don't forget to subscribe, share and leave your comments below. Let's continue the discussion and promote a more welcoming and egalitarian society. Until the next video.